It's as though Schultz took everything he'd learned about life's disappointments and gave it to a little round-faced boy. I got five pieces of candy. I got a chocolate bar. I got a quarter. I got a rock. In school, the precocious Charles Schultz, nicknamed Sparky, skipped two grades. Suddenly, he was the youngest, smallest, and shyest kid in his class. His social life and grades suffered and never quite bounced back. I failed everything. I always went to class, but I never knew what was going on. <laughs> he was sustained mainly by his love of drawing. When he was a senior in high school, the yearbook editors accepted some sketches. But when he opened the yearbook, they weren't there. When my high school had its 25th reunion, I was on the list of people they didn't know what had happened to. <laughs> During World War II, Schultz continued to battle his insecurities, and occasionally, the Germans, and he kept drawing. And then working my way up, little by little, corporal, sergeant, finally getting to be a staff sergeant, a leader of a light machine gun squad, I was proud of that. I did it. And so I came back with a good feeling about myself, which lasted about 20 minutes. <laughs> but Schultz's talent for drawing children was beginning to get attention. The humor that I had of these little kids saying these strange things worked. But I didn't start off with any ambition to draw little kids and dogs and things like that, especially birds. It took me 20 years to learn how to draw woodstock. <laughs> Too shy for college, Schultz enrolled in art correspondence school. A few years later, he'd go to work there and make the acquaintance of a fellow instructor named Charlie Brown. He borrowed the name added his own personality, and the rest is cartoon history. I'll hold the ball, and you come running and kick it. Oh, brother. I don't mind your dishonesty half as much as I mind your opinion of me. You must think I'm stupid. Uh, of course, Charlie Brown is really a decent person, but why does he keep believing that Lucy's not going to pull away the football? You know, is that stupidity? Please. You just want me to come running up to kick that ball so you can pull it away and see me land flat on my back and kill myself. This time you can trust me. See, here's a signed document testifying that I promise not to pull it away. It is signed. It's a signed document. I guess if you have a signed document in your possession, you can't go wrong. This year I'm really going to kick that football. peculiar thing about this document, it was never notarized. People say, well, why couldn't you have Charlie Brown kick the football? Well, I could. It would make him happy. And happiness is, is neat. I wish we could all be happy. But unfortunately, happiness is not very funny. <laughs>